This video is to show you how to use the Tilt Shift Scenario Calculator. You do need to do some homework before you go out to the field. So I'm going to demonstrate the homework you need to do, then we'll go out into the field and put it into practice. But I'm going to take a photograph of the Bucale Mountain, which is this. And I'm going to take it from the river about there. So we need to know the difference in altitude between the peak and the river, and the distance that I'll be in the river to the peak. So we can tell that the peak is 994 meters according to Google Earth. In practice it's just a little over a thousand. The river is it says 239 meters, call it 240. So the difference in altitude is 760. We can measure the distance by using a path and I'm going to be, as I said, about there, and the peak is there, 2,990 metres, call it 3,000. So we now have enough information. So let's go out to the field and put that into practice. Good morning, I'm at the Buchale Mountain on Etive Moor, and I'm going to show you how to use tilt shift lens in conjunction with the tilt shift scenario calculator. It's just gone five in the morning, it's just warming up, it's absolutely freezing earlier on, but never mind. Okay, so I've got Canon tilt shift lens, 24mm, Sony camera, Metabones adapter in green mode, so it's in constant depth of field preview. Now, I've done some homework on Google Earth, so I know the peak of the mountain is a thousand metres tall. I think it's technically a fraction over, but never mind. I'm seven, sorry, 240 metres above sea level here, difference of 760 metres. I also know I'm 3,000 metres from the peak of the mountain. So, one more piece of information I require. The height of the camera off the ground, and that's 435 millimetres. So now... I have all the information I need to use the scenario calculator. So, using that, I shall feed the values in. By the way, I set the circle of confusion on this to 0 0.015 on this setup. I tend to get good results from that. But that's something you're going to have to experiment yourself and find out what's best for your camera setup. This is a 42 megapixel camera. Uh, and if I wanted to print a billboard size photograph, then I'd have to set it even lower. Um, but it's something you're gonna have to experiment. It's gonna be somewhere between 0 0.01 and 0 0.025, depending on the camera you've got, etc. So experiment, find out what's best for you. Okay, so I'll feed in 435 millimeters. 3,000 metres distance from the peak and 760 metres difference in altitude. I can deal with some, it's rather nice. Okay, so it's told me I need an angle of 2.52 and an aperture of 9. So I'm going to do two things. One, start off with the aperture wide open for the focusing, and I'm going to dial in two and a half degrees. So now I need to focus halfway up the mountain. about it. So the foreground should at least be respectable, if not a bit dark. Okay, I'm happy with that. So all I need to do now 
is stop the aperture down to f9. There we are. So if I check the focus now, foreground in focus. Yeah, base of the mountain looks okay. And the peak looks okay. So only one thing left to do, take a picture. So that's it. You do some homework on Google Earth to find out the altitude of the object, the height above sea level you're going to take the picture at, and the distance from the camera to the object. Once you're out in the field, you measure the height of the camera, you then focus halfway up the mountain, dial in correction. You dial in the correct angle, then focus halfway up the mountain, dial in the correct aperture and take a picture. I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching.